Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and uh, today we're going to take another crack at Kerbal Space Program. Um, I've been playing this game quite a bit recently, and uh, I can't say I've made a whole lot of progress, but I've made a little progress. Um, I actually understand how to play it a little bit better now. Um, so let's go take a look. Uh, let's see. And uh, I think what we're going to try to do today is something that I was attempting last night, which is just to land a simple space probe onto the moon. Um, I feel like this is a good place to start. Uh, what I've been trying to work on the um, past month or so, maybe not quite that long, but um, is trying to do uh, like an orbital rendezvous around uh, Kerbin. Um, basically getting two spacecraft in the same orbit in the same place at, at the same time and at the same speed and then docking them together together using the docking ports and I haven't had a whole lot of luck doing that um, it's really tricky to get everything lined up exactly right uh, and get the two spacecraft um, next to each other um, so I'm gonna take a brief break from that and uh, try to do um, something else instead. So, okay. No spacecraft in flight right now uh, in this profile. So, let's see here. Um, I could just load the one that I had saved, but I think for demonstration purposes I'll just show you what I'm going to do. So we'll take a simple um, probe computer so we can control it and we will add some fuel somewhere. Let's just do one there and one underneath. Try to keep it balanced. And let's see, what else do I need? I think all we really need on top of that is just a nose cone. <laughs> We're just going to keep it really simple. Uh, oh, uh, actually, we need a battery, um, battery pack. Nope, too big. Way too big. Let's put that on there too. We might need that. Um, the next thing would be a couple solar panels. Let's just do two. Yeah, like that. that. Should be okay. And we might have to rearrange those in a second. Let's see. Hmm. So last time I was using these bigger landing struts, but I think that was just adding too much weight. So let's see. Those are way too big. So let's just try. I don't have any experience with these, so let's see what happens here. I don't really know how these work. Come on, get on there. I'm going to have to take the panels off and then add them out. After the fact. Okay. They're at least on there. No, we don't need four of those. That's just unnecessary. Okay, so now we have that, that, that. We'll add a teeny tiny engine to this, as this is just the landing stage here. And then, let's see, no, that one's too big. Okay. Um, decoupler, so we can separate them, and then next thing would be basically the transfer stage that's going to get us from uh, from curb into the moon. So, hmm, which fuel tank do I want to use? Is that too big? Let's see this one. That one's way too big. That looks too small. That's way too big. We're not even close to that. We don't need anything like that yet. Come on. Hmm. I don't know if the struts are in the way or what the deal is. Let's pull that down. Okay. And last time I used one of these big freaking engines, but I think, I don't think we need something that big this time. 
So let's try, let's see. Maybe, oh, whoa, no. I think we need probe engine. No. That, well, I really don't hope we need anything that big, but let's just try this. I, and we might fail miserably, and that's okay, because this is a learning process. I'm trying to do this without using mods or anything like that. Um, I have watched a lot of videos um, to learn more about the game, but I was just not, ha not having that much luck so far doing anything really cool. Okay, so we have that. Let's put on that. Another separator thingy. That looks really ugly, but we're not worried about what it looks like. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, now we need just our main stage. So we'll use one of these. And then we want... Yeah, we want the one with thrust vectoring. So this is what's going to get us out of the atmosphere. And then we need um, basically a booster stage to get us um, through the thick part of the atmosphere. So... let's see... Oh. And last time I tried to use three boosters here on the side, um, but that didn't seem to work. So we'll try our four, and hopefully that will be enough thrust to get us out into space. Um, and yeah, there are obviously way more efficient designs than whatever it is I'm going to do here. Um, but we're just beginners. Being a beginner is okay, so everybody has to start somewhere. Um, so yeah, we'll use the big engines there, and then we'll add some fuel lines going from the outside to the inside. Um, so that, let's see, moon probe 2, so that the outside one's empty before the inside one's too. And then I'm probably going to need some struts to keep this thing together. That doesn't seem to work. There we go. Okay, maybe, let's see, maybe one, a couple from the top. Let's see, can I do that? <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. Let's see, now, before our launch, am I missing anything? I have batteries, I have solar cells, I have landing thingies. Um, I have boosters of some kind. This really, it really shouldn't take too much to actually get to the, get to the moon land. I mean, it's supposed to be easy, right? Okay, so I think what we want to do is we want to wait till the moon is about overhead um, before we launch. That way we are nice and efficient. I'll just move this down here because we want all the engines to fire at once. Pull that up and then we'll go into map mode here. Pull up that because I'm going to need that. Let's see, where is the moon in relation to where we are? Mm -hmm, not quite. So let's let's time accelerate a little bit here. Maybe faster. Oh, you can see I'm, my battery is de depleting as I'm doing that. So I guess while we sit here and wait for time acceleration, <laughs> it might be prudent to put those out. So I think I tried to launch in one time and I was completely out of power, and I was like, what is going on here? Why am I out of power um, before I even launch? And it was because I time accelerated so much, I just completely emptied my battery cells. So let's see if we come around maybe one more time. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty close. And, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. 
So okay, before we're gonna retract the panels again. And actually let's try let's look at what this looks like. Ah, that's gonna be perfect. Okay. That's way better than those big old ones I was using before. And if we look up here, mm -hmm, yeah, so there's the moon. So we're pretty close. Hopefully. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try to just kind of avoid getting into orbit around Kerbin because I don't think we're gonna have enough fuel to linger. I think we need to do this in one shot and uh, I might fail miserably. So let's give it a shot here. And off we go. Looking pretty good, and uh, start. Don't want to blast our fuel too hard. Um, and when we reach about maybe around seven thousand or so, I'm gonna start going east. Yeah, it looks maybe we'll be good there. I'm gonna start. Tilting east and trying not to overdo it. And I think I can I can totally ease down on the throttle like a ton here. So I'm going way faster than I need to be. So I'm just wasting fuel if I keep burning that, that rate. So let's see here. I'm going to get around 40. And I'm still going way faster than I need to be. So <laughs> let's see. Getting up there real fast here. So yeah, chill out. And I still burned way faster than I really wanted to. So I'm not thrilled about that. Okay, we're still climbing as we should be. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get out there. and uh... not die okay. About halfway through the atmosphere now I think we want to shoot for around 100,000 meters before we do anything else. I'm just going to tell myself a little bit more. I'm actually going too slow now, and that's a waste of fuel too. So well, we're making we're getting where we need to be, and let's see, so yeah, hopefully we'll be alright. If not, you know, <laughs> try again next time. Oh, wow. Okay. Oops. That's way too much. Ah, I actually put myself in orbit without even looking. Alright, so... Basically... Yeah, I put myself in a really eccentric orbit, but that's okay. We're just gonna <laughs> pretend that didn't happen and persevere. And uh, try to get out a little bit ahead. Mm, which way? Nope, that's the wrong way. I always get confused there. Whoa. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get it to say Oh jeez. Uh, time is of the essence here. Let's 
see if we can... Oh, wait. That looked like one. Okay, so that will give us an encounter pretty close. Let's see if we can tweak it even more. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that gives us a really close encounter. So, we're gonna aim for this target here. If I can move this thing. And then, a couple minutes, we're gonna burn for 17 seconds, it looks like. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty sluggish. I guess I could... Yeah, I have almost no fuel left there, so... Um, I might as well just jettison this now. Yeah, there's no need to keep that around. With that little fuel in it, it's not going to really do anything for me. And plus, it's just it's just more weight to to try to get um, accelerate with. Bye, goodbye. Yep, so yeah, I overdid it on the first little bit there. It's hard to watch everything at once. That's kind of the tricky part about the game. Um, I really need to install some mods um, that give you a little bit more telemetry to work with. Um, I guess the most popular one is this one called NetJab. Um, and there's one called Kerbal Engineer and, and other things like that that just basically give you real numbers in terms of more pre more precise numbers and everything would be on the screen, so that would make it a little bit easier to do all this stuff. And uh, you know, I guess there's people out there that would call that cheating. But even you know the premier YouTube Kerbal Space Program player Scott Manley, you know he uses all that stuff, and uh, it, he's watching him do what he does is still extremely impressive. Um, and, uh, I really like his videos, he's, uh, he's fun to watch, and, uh, really entertaining, and, um, pleasant, and funny, um, which are good things for a YouTuber to be, um, and he keeps his videos nice and short and sweet, for the most part, which is good too, um, cause, okay, so, well, I almost just talked myself over my burn node, let's see, We'll wait till we have you know six seconds or so. Try to get it as close as we can. We're burning this to to gain this much uh, change in velocity, delta v, or yeah. So let's see. We seem to not be moving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that wasn't great because you know, not completely precise. But I think I'll still be okay. Luckily, when I got into orbit, I managed to get into a really good... I didn't get any inclination here or anything like that, so... Um, if I'm really lucky, we should still be pretty close to the moon when we get there. Uh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it's tilted like that. <laughs> oh, that's so basically what it's saying is I'm going to go around, I'm going to get really close to the moon, and if I don't do anything about it, um, I'm just going to basically crash land back on Earth, it looks like. Er, sorry, Kerbin. Um, which. So basically, I'm just going to time accelerate this little thingy up here till we get close enough to the moon. And then basically, I'm going to burn, I guess I would burn, is this considered retrograde? Yeah, I want to burn, I'll set up a new orbital node over here because I'm not that good at the game and it's easier to, than to try to eyeball it, but basically I want to burn somewhere around here and kill, kill my velocity until I get captured by the moon. So let's just go ahead here and let's... If anybody actually watches this, please be keeping your fingers crossed right now because I have no idea 
only I you know tried this several times and it's still difficult. <laughs> yes, it's extremely difficult. So we're basically gonna wait till yeah, we're there and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do about it, slowing ourselves down. And this the nav ball should change to uh, the moon sphere of influence when we're close. I'm hoping. Yeah. And that will make it a little bit easier to tell where we're going. Yeah. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go to the moon. I don't seem to be rotating very well. Anyway. I didn't put any RCS thrusters on here, so we can't do that. Okay, um, a little bit more. A little bit more? Just a little bit more? Come on. Hopefully it's gonna s it's gonna kind of swap positions here. There we go, perfect. And did the game just freeze now. Okay, good. So um, we want to wait till we're at. I guess we're gonna wait till we're at our closest point. Oops. And then do that and circle it up. And we can get good and close here. As much as I'd love to make it completely circular, I'm realistic. It's probably not going to happen. So, especially just given how eccentric we came in near the planet, it's just not, yeah. Now, I'm not sure why. Things seem to have frozen up here a little bit. Oh, I'm out of electricity. Ah, oh, I'm screwed now. Oh, damn it. All right, we gotta try again. Cause now that I'm out of electricity, <laughs> I can't open the solar panels even, cause I don't have any charge at all. So we we screwed up big time. So and I forgot to save. So let's try this one more time. <laughs> and that was dumb. Um, but that's okay. Cause this is all about learning. still gonna have that problem with so I guess maybe I need to put more batteries on so that that doesn't happen or, or it gives me more time until I notice maybe <laughs> I don't know because yeah you can't be you can't be just uh, wandering through space drifting through space with uh, without your solar panels out doesn't work it's no good it's bad it's bad news all right that's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, again, we try again. Is the moon directly? We're even closer this time. So let's try. Practice makes perfect. Oh, crap. Did we lose a solar panel? Well, we lost a solar panel. But I think we'll be okay with one. That'll be all right. Actually, you know what? Since we're still... No, we don't want to do that. No. I don't know why that happened. But we'll be alright.
I'm starting to think that maybe we need more fuel tanks than that just this to really make this work. Whoop. How we do it? Not so good, I'm thinking. Not so good. Yeah, we lost those boosters really quickly that time. I don't know why. I think I maybe turned too early. Should be able to turn, you know, pretty reasonably early. We can hang back on the throttle pretty good. As long as we're still climbing. I wish you could say that was the first time I ran out of batteries most of the way through like that, but it's not. It seems to be something I forget a lot. Okay, that's pretty good. We have two minutes and 25 seconds to make this happen. Where is the moon? Okay. Whoa. No, nothing? Did I m mess it up again? Oh no, wait. Come on. Time is just the essence. I don't want to have to get into orbit. Crap, 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 crap. Alright, well, that's really far away. Okay. We don't want to end up behind like that, if we can help it. Eh, that might work. I don't know. We're running out of time. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I think, once again, even though... Regrettably, we have fuel left in here. It just makes more sense to just let it go. Okay. Time accelerate till we get close. I don't have to burn for very long, it looks like. Oh. It helps to actually activate the engine, though. Really shouldn't need to, but because I... Because of how I did it. This is way less efficient this time than the last time. I was doing much better last time.
not looking like we're going to get it. Mm. I'm not really happy. <laughs> I don't think we're going to... We I don't think we got an encounter like we wanted to. So we might have to just eyeball this when we get there. Oh, and let's actually remember... This is the fatal error. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how the why or how this other solar panel came off, but... Yeah, we're just going to have to try to figure this one out when we get there. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get a very eccentric orbit. Actually, let's see if we can maybe adjust it a little bit. I think we need to go... That seems like it should be better. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I could have just burned for an extra couple seconds and looks like we would have gotten where we needed to be. Let's accelerate. That's, that'll just be a quick adjustment burn. I'm really low on fuel now. That did not go efficiently. At all. Oh, we should have enough still, hopefully. I don't really know what... The hardest part is landing, which I don't really understand how to do, so that's the part we're going to probably crash. just a minute behind is not a big deal. Still getting it get pretty close. Oop. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's get rid of that. And we're still going to get really, really close. So hopefully we'll be alright. Speed on ahead. See what happens. Before we just totally lose it here. Come on. <sighs> to strain it out. No, nope, that's might be the wrong way. Crap. I mean, I'm really in a really awkward position here. There we go. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to pull it in even closer. It's really hard to tell what's going on here. pretty good. So, again, let's 
Let's time accelerate. Yeah, we're in a really funky orbit, but it doesn't matter. How did we end up there? Whoa! Sort of seems like we're gonna crash. Oh, maybe we need to burn more the other way. <laughs> That's what we needed to do. Okay, so we are now in orbit. Still have a little fuel left, but it doesn't really matter. It's not going to do anything for us at this point. Activate that, and we might as well put our, our gear, even though we're not going to really do anything for a while. And then basically, I think the idea, my understanding is we basically just want to burn the retrograde. I think, I think that's what that is. And just kill all this velocity. Actually, but before we do that, we should actually wait until we're at our closest point. Otherwise, we're wasting fuel. Is my understanding. That's coming up about halfway around from where we need to be. Stop. Okay, now we can burn. Oh, shit. Is that the wrong way? seems to be increasing my speed as I'm doing that, so I'm guessing I was burning the wrong way. Yeah, we want it to be going down. We want the velocity to be going down. And of course we're on the dark side of the moon. Oh, moon probe debris, yeah. Uh-huh. If we run out of fuel doing this, we really need to go back and just completely re rethink how this is supposed to go. So obviously there's something about it that I don't understand. I think at this point we can just wait to get closer. Oh shit, shit, shit. Go, burn like crazy! I don't think we're gonna have enough 
fuel people. I think no matter what we do, and we're gonna crash. We are definitely, definitely gonna crash. Really hard. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, 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 crap. No! Ah no! Well that was fun. Alright, so what did we learn from that? Uh yeah, somehow we need more fuel than that, somehow. Um mm, I think that's all I want to do for today. Cause this video is getting a little bit on the long side now. Um so I guess next time we will try the same exact thing with just double the fuel tanks on the probe. <laughs> and maybe some more boosters just so we know for sure we're we're getting enough uh, velocity leaving Kerbin. We don't have to worry at all about being perfect about it. We just give ourselves plenty of wiggle room with fuel. And uh yeah, that's uh that's how it goes in Kerbal Space Program. Um yeah, let's see, can I see my debris? No, it's too dark. Oh, yeah, no. We're done. <laughs> we collided with the surface. Alright, well, uh, thank you for watching, and um, I will catch you guys next time.